I'm playing, I'm playing center field, and I'm running out to my position. Mm -hmm. And I can just feel this person chasing me. Okay. And I look around, and all I can see is breast bouncing. It was August of 1969 at Crosley Field. I forgot who we were playing, but we were playing a home game. And I was having a great year. And I remember that inning, our opposing pitcher got us out, so we had to go right back out to our position. And I can just feel someone running after me. Before I could even see who it was, these arms were around me, and I'm ready to swing at them when I realize it's this beautiful young girl, and she keeps chasing me. She followed me all the way to the center of the wall. I looked at her and said, young lady, you're gonna get in trouble being on the field. She looked at me, she says, I sure in hell hope so. She put her arms around me and planted a big kiss right on my cheek. Only yeah. on the cheek? Yeah, on the cheek. Wow. Yeah. There's no kissing on the lips in the middle of a baseball diamond. Come on, Frank. Oh, yeah. Some crazy things happen in the locker room. <laughs> well, then she thanks me, but I just stood there kind of in shock. I mean, how many times has that happened to you on the baseball field? She did it in Atlanta for Cleet Boyer, and she did uh, Ripken. She did everybody. She didn't do know. you? No. Morgana, the kissing bandit. And for a while, I swear, she was bigger than any one baseball player. She was everywhere, did appearances. Someone even said she was making millions a year. She was a star back in them days, Frank. She ended up uh, owning a minor league baseball team. Man, what a time. How many boob jobs do you think she had? Yeah, but at least five. <laughs> America's a beautiful place, you know?